a little nervous. It be looking and feeling so crazy. No need to even go there. All right, in this video, I have a few different products that I wanna try out. I've got Freckle, is it Freckle Cosmetics? I don't know. It's a new product, this Face Hack Contour product. Let's see if this is even good or it's gonna show up on my skin. A few different things. So let's jump into the video. So I always start off with a lip primer. You know, this is a must. This is basically on its last leg, this e.l.f. Lock On Lip Primer. Let me recycle that. But prime your lips, honey. If you're not priming your lips, I just, I don't understand how you do it. Oh, and let me put on a little fragrance because I want to smell myself. Hello. This is Mugler Angel Elixir. I gotta look, honey, because I can barely even see it on the back. Hmm, let's spray my hands because as I'm moving my hands around, of course I want to smell all the goodness. You know what I'm saying? How are we feeling about these two cameras too? Comment and let me know. All right, I'm going to start off with this Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. And this is the shade Golden Hour. I was sent four different ones. I feel like this shade's going to look the best on me. I already have sunscreen on, okay? So I'm not going to take the amount that I normally would recommend that dermatologists recommend when applying your sunscreen. So FYI there, in fact, I have on Super Goop sunscreen already. It's the everyday lotion, but I want to see what this glow one looks like. And it's the same product, so it shouldn't look, uh, hold on. <laughs> shouldn't look crazy together. Why is this lighter than I expected? Hold on. There's two of these, right? What shade did I want to? Okay, so I have sunset right here and then this is golden hour. Hold on. Okay, okay. All right, all right. It is blending. Okay. I got a little nervous. We're going to stick to the center of the face more so. I think sunset is going to be darker. I can't recall, but this is golden hour and wow, first of all, my hand smells so good. Secondly, this looks really good already. Now you might be thinking, that's a whole lot of sunscreen. What are you doing all that? Girl, we need an ample amount of sunscreen anyway. So you need to be applying a lot and it needs to go all over the face. Note that because this one is glowy, I'm applying it really in the center of my face. But like I said, I already have on sunscreen and that I applied all over my face. So if you're gonna use this glowy one by itself with nothing else, make sure that you apply this all over the face, not in the way that that I'm doing it now because you need to protect all of your skin, not just the center points of it. Okay, I think this looks pretty. It's not as shimmery, glowy as I thought it would be, but it is enough that it's pretty. You feel what I'm saying? So, so far, I like this. What do you think? Comment, let me know. Now, I obviously took so much because I already have on sunscreen, so I'm wiping off this excess on my hands. But that was nice. And now that I know how it looks, I'm gonna apply this by itself on my face and also on the body to give a nice glow. You know what I'm saying? A nice little shimmer. And keeping with the same healthy glow theme today, we're gonna use the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. And this is the shade Deep Rich Neutral. I I wanna say that I've used this before, but I really don't remember, okay? And that's nothing against Smashbox. I just try so many things and girl. And then when I get it again in the mail, I'm like, have I used this? I don't know, so let's try this out. I'm gonna use a Swat Kabuki from Sigma. Okay, this looks and feels nice and thick. It looks gorgeous. I see a gorgeous color match sticking toward the inner part of my face, not so much the perimeter. It almost feels like the milk Makeup, Hydro Grip. It's giving me that tug the way that Hydro Grip does. And I don't know if that's because of the primers that I've already used or if that's just how this product is. I like the way that it feels. I can say that. This color is great. Focusing on the middle of my face. Although now that I see that it is darker than my skin tone, I can go to the outer part of my face. I am going to glow with this makeup. As you can see, it's giving medium coverage going over the eyebrows. Wait a minute, maybe more than medium. Hold on. It's covering my brows pretty well. Hold on a second. I could have put this on the back of my hand, but here we are. Now this is a random brush from an old collection from Sigma. Obviously I'll link all products below, or you can grab a brush set that I've used in an actual video down below. It's from Amazon and it is $40. I think it's less than $40 actually. So, you know, it's up to you to buy these individual brushes or to go ahead and grab a brush set. It's feeling very gripped to my skin in the in a good way. This is a great shade. It is darker than my actual skin tone, but in the best way, because if you see, it's matching my neck and chest. You know, the face doesn't tan as much as my body will. I usually try to cover it, you know what I'm saying? I think this looks really good. If you use this product, like it, love it, I want to know in the comments below. Let's go with a concealer that I already know, KVD Vegan Beauty. This is the shade Tan 177. I like to apply this right here in the beginning. Oh, that went real close 
close to my eye. Hold on. <laughs> We're gonna blend it up close to the eye line, but God, I was a little zealous right there. Elf sponge. This is strange because some of these elf sponges are way too dense than the others, and I don't know how that happens. This one in particular is very dense, too thick in the middle. So it's not as bouncy as some of the other ones are. And I don't know what the difference is. Maybe, I don't know, the production line was a little different when these ones were made, but I do tend to like these elf sponges. It's just too thick on the inside for this one. But here we are blending it, starting on the outside and then coming toward the middle and then toward the front and then using a cleaner part of this sponge to blend any harsh lines. And I wanna take off some product from this sponge, which is what I just did on the paper towel in front of me. And then now I am blending the sides of my nose and right here next to my tear duct. Pinching this in here to get right up in there, you know what I'm saying? And blend the harsh lines. We're going obviously in a check mark fashion. The cleaner part of the sponge is gonna go on the lines so that there are no harsh lines. All right, now we're gonna highlight down. I, I closed this, I don't even know why. I gotta open it up again. Highlighting down the middle of the face. I still do this. Are you still doing this? Comment and let me know. I mean, who isn't, right? Like, are you not highlighting your nose? Maybe you're not, maybe you're taking the easy way. I don't know. Granted, we did do a glowy situation underneath all of this, but I'm still gonna highlight. Now, you could choose a glowy highlight situation or even mix your highlight in with something frosty, like the liquid highlighter from Rare Beauty, right? If you want your concealer to be more glowy, you could always do that. If you're going for a summer beach glowy vibe, that's also an option. Same with the foundation, you feel me? But I wouldn't do that with the concealer that's underneath the eye. But you could do that with the concealer elsewhere. You could definitely play around with it. But don't be shocked if you're seeing any breaking up of the makeup because when you're doing a hydrated, glowy look, that can sometimes be the problem. You know, whenever I highlight my face, I sometimes get so annoyed because it looks so wild until I bring it all together with the contour, you know? It be looking and feeling so crazy. Now I did in a different video use this e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand and this is the contour. It's deep rich. I did enjoy this, so let's use this again. I don't have a new contour today. So I remember, what, what was this? Was this very deep? Let's see. I feel like it was really deep. Ooh, I don't remember now. Was this really deep? Hold on. I don't know if this is too much now. <laughs> I'm using the Sephora 56 brush to blend this in starting here in the cheek area trying to see how deep this is going to come out to be and this is good it's showing up on i'm so irritated with this crust in my hair can you see it it's getting on my nerves ignore this product that i've been using i like it when it's freshly on my on my head i forget the name i'll link it below but then when it dries and you're looking like Come on, like, what are you doing? You're giving white hair teas, like stop. White hairs are fine, but that's not what I have. It's just giving crust. Okay, so here we are blending toward the hairline. I started on the cheek. Yeah, this does blend really well. The color is good. It's not too dark. It's dark enough that it's showing. Get it into the hairline because it needs to be as natural as possible. I'm gonna wipe off the brush on the paper towel in front of me to now blend. We're gonna go over that harsh line with the sponge anyway. So not to worry too much when it comes to that. While I still have product on this brush, let's take it and contour the nose. Right down the side and bring it up right here to the top of the brow, the front of the brow. Okay, I had to close the blinds and fix the lighting, so hopefully this is not too distracting. I'm turning this over to a cleaner, not the cleanest, but a cleaner part of the sponge to blend this harsh line on this side, taking it up to the forehead in the same way and then turning it like so to do the same on this side because there was a line of demarcation between the highlight and the contour. And even look at the, the highlight and contour down here. It's giving blend, okay? Come and let me know if you like what I just did and if you didn't know how to do that. <laughs> It's the small things. And the nose, I did add some more contour to it, so hopefully it's, it's looking more defined. Okay, I'm gonna set my under eye, the immediate under eye, with this Amicole Translucent Set and Powder. Black owned brand, Sephora. Links are always below. Check it out. I do like this product a lot. I was just grabbing a random brush to apply the loose powder right underneath my eye, and then I'm gonna do my luminous pressed powder everywhere else. Cause I noticed that when I just do the luminous one, right up in here where I have the fine lines, be creasing, and I don't need that. And then here's the Huda Beauty Glowish. This shade is medium tan 06. This is a Sephora 79 brush. And since we are doing a luminous face, this just goes together, you feel me? Bring it right over here so that this part is still gonna glow. 
you know so I'm going to set the rest of the face I'm using the I'm gonna call it powder to do that the rest of the highlighted areas if you wanted to keep this face dewy then you could just leave it alone but I still like to set it you feel me this is translucent but I do feel like something about it helps to bring that brightness back to the surface and then we're gonna do the face powder elsewhere let me take some more of this translucent powder over my eyebrows and eyelids because I want this part to be matte not dewy when I do my eyebrows and they're greasy it just be mm -mm. I need it I need grip when applying my actual brow product. To deepen up my contour, I'm gonna use this Patrick's I always have to think about that. Made for shade Deep Trio. And let's go with the middle one. Mm, I don't think I'll need the last one, but let's do the middle one. This is the Sephora 59 brush. Okay, starting right here on the outside. Yes, I can see it and I'm just patting lightly. This is going to take down the shine a smidge, but also add some more color. I just want this to be darker because I like for my contour to show, you know me? <laughs> it's gonna bring the whole thing together. And then what's left over is going to go right here on the jawline. Nothing too perfect, but you can still see that I've put a product there, you know? Then we're gonna face powder this whole thing with this Kosas Cloud Set. This is the shade Velvety, and this is a powder brush from Complex Culture. I've had this for a minute. Oh my God, I just realized I forgot to use the Freck Beauty product. I'll use this another time. I can't even stand the whole thing, you know? And if I can't stand it, how much more you? You feel me? <laughs> Rare Beauty Highlighter in the shade Flaunt. I'm gonna use my beauty sponge. This part is clean, so let's do that. I'm pinching it though, however. And let's see, let me put this on back my hand. Yeah, taking off the first bite so that it's not so harsh. Let's go right here. This looks so pretty once the lip is done. <laughs> It looks harsh right now, but you know, hold on a second. Let's pound some of this off, pinching, and then right down the middle of the nose. I know this is not ideal, but I am pinching it, and the middle of the nose is a bridge, so it's not going to go everywhere. And you can use your finger if you feel so inclined. Does that look light? <laughs> You're gonna bring it all together, honey. Don't worry, okay? All right, right here. Okay, okay, okay. And this is already still light from, you know, the Luminous Setting Powder. Boom, both sides. No need to even go there. I have not used this blush in so long. This is a Sephora Colorful Matte. It's just called a Colorful Matte, right? I don't really, yeah, it's just Colorful Matte. I suppose you can use these in many different ways. Perhaps just all over the face, cheeks, eyes, the whole nine yards. I'm gonna use this on my cheek. This is the shade Hey Jealousy. This is the MAC blush brush that I've had for ages. Starting right here toward the apples of the cheek and giving a smile, smize situation in order to isolate out the apples of the cheek to apply the producta. Producte, what? <laughs> I was trying to say product in Spanish, but I didn't know where I was going, you feel me? But we're gonna put a product right here, okay? Mm, this is looking pretty. Ooh, muy bonita. <laughs> I think this looks really pretty. Comment and let me know what you think about it. I think it looks <laughs> gorgeous though. Although I'm wearing a red lip, so but red and pink are red and pink are close. We gon' we gon' we gon' work it out. Red and pink gon' go together. Excess product is still on this brush, and I'm doing this so that my contour just blends itself into this blush. Praise be, okay? Hi. The blush is almost looking purple. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think about it? <laughs> Comment and let me know. Let's do brows and move this on up. Okay. Okay. okay, I must say my skin looks glowy. I mean, do we see it or not? Comment, let me know. I've added eyeliner and then this milk makeup color chalk in the shade Jump right here in the tear duct. Let me tell you, I am in love with this Fenty mascara. I cannot believe how good this is. What? I used it on the top of my lashes and the bottom, and honey, I am blown away. I already bought two more because that is just how blown away I am, watch. Now for the bottom lashes, what I have realized is that it does require two coats, but once I do it, girl, game over. Just look at the drama. Mm. I love it. Now I'm gonna keep my eyes pinched like this because the bottom lashes are so long and elongated that I don't want them to touch my face. And let's do a red lip today. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Satin Lipstick. This is the shade No Regrets. And we're gonna put this right on, just right now. You know, I have not done a red in so long.
Alrighty, here's a finished look. Do we look glowy? Do we look dewy? How do we look? Comment and let me know. All products are linked below as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.